Hello everybody, Super Strange Pie here, and welcome to another episode in Pie Land! Yo-ho! So today in this episode, we are going to be making a farm for our livestock, which, livestock, which I'm really excited about because I've, uh, my poor sheep and chicken have kind of been living in this for a while, and I think it's time for them to have an upgrade. They do produce a lot of eggs though. Thank you very much. So what we're going to be doing is going to our daily requirements chest and grabbing all of our new materials. See, I kind of got a little, got a little overboard and put a lot of different things in here, but, you know, we did it. And I kind of wanted to make it pretty, so I put it in a pyramid triangle shape. <laughs> I don't know why. So, uh, over, I decided to make the farm over, oh, my mouse is glitching, over here, right next to the... Uh, plants farm so we can have those like right next to each other so what I want to start off by doing is this would be one pen for the sheep and one pen for the chickens so let's begin by getting some framework done I just wanted to I um, start off with some frames with some grass just so we have it but we'll switch to wool, uh, some to wood which will probably make it out of so we're gonna begin by putting some fencing in I wanted to do like an every other type of pattern so let's find where the middle of this gate is it's right about here and we can put in oops two little fence gates to start off with and we'll start by doing a pattern like this maybe maybe we could do it with our floor pan plan which is um every two birch we put in two oak to birch that's actually how my floor plan goes so let's make our floor plan the same as our livestock plan let's do it so we're gonna do that and place down oops <laughs> those little fences here and then let's grab our big stack just so we have that two two and two perfect so now let's do the same thing for this pen which oh this is supposed to be fence gates actually and do that like so and then i have a lot of different other materials including leaves grasses all this other stuff just so we can really decorate these places because i want our livestock to feel welcome here i want them to feel welcome so i actually brought some carpet so i want to put that on the two little entrances here for them so if you didn't know if you put carpet on top of a fence you can actually then jump onto the fence which i think is a really good feature that they added but the livestock can't jump out so it's really easier so you don't risk losing your livestock when you're at the fence gate so we're just going to put two over here also just so we can access it from the back if need be which is actually really awesome so we have two extra pieces but that's not necessary and of course when i start a video it's always becoming night just my luck so let's head back over then uh let's head back over and hopefully we can head off to sleep so let's get in our room our bedroom that we made and go to sleep good night pie land eat smelly fish all right good morning everybody how was your night was it good that's good so let's actually head back over to the little livestock pens and let's begin by uh, seeing how high we want this to go. So I want to kind of have like a little overhead ledge here just so we know it's like the livestock. So I want it to feel kind of like staples almost. So let's just go over here and see how high we want to make it. I really don't know how tall I want to create this structure. But I do know I want to have some really cool details into it and really make it cool, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's see how that looks. I think that's actually a pretty good height. Maybe one taller should uh, suit my fancy. And let's hopefully have enough dirt blocks to get up there. Oh, perfect. Just enough, actually. And then we could use some... Oh, actually, I have a better idea. Let's do fanciness and go one up with the oak. And then we can go across like this I actually really like that I think it's gonna look cool from down below so let's go fill in the rest of this here and there we go and I think should we do the back parts too or should we just replace those with uh, our fences I think what we should do is the back ones too yeah 
Yeah, we'll do that. I don't think we'll have enough wood, but I think I actually have some in my storage room that we can use. And if not, there's a whole forest right over here that I've been growing and maintaining for wood. So let's go check our storage room real quick. I didn't really expect to use so much um, wood. I just love the plain, like the actual logs. I think those are like one of my favorite features. So let's go over here and start building up then. We definitely have not enough oak. <laughs> Should have grabbed some when I was there, but I thought we would have enough. Apparently not. <laughs> uh, I think that's in line. Is that in line? Is that in line? I don't really know. You know what? Let's just jump over here. Yeah, no, it wasn't in line. Couldn't, I knew it. I just had a feeling inside me. So let's kind of parkour up there, maybe? Parkour? Okay, no. Uh, let's try this one more time. Have some potatoes. For good luck. Good measure. Uh, parkour! Yeah! Yes. Alright, so let's grab our... Okay. So we have to go one more up, and then we had to do this, I believe. So let's connect it across. Like this. Oh, just enough. And we'll probably have to fill in the rest. Let's go grab some mocha. Actually, right now, we'll just grab it real quickly. Okay, let's go head on over there and grab some oak. Yeah, that's a lot, so we probably won't need that much, so let's just grab about almost 30 pieces. So let's head back over and start working again. Hopefully we'll have enough of this wood. Let's see how tall this actually is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tall. Yeah, we'll have enough for the last two pillars, which is awesome. Awesome sauce. So we have to go one two, three, four, five, six, and then pillar up like that, and then create this, like that, and let's do that again on the other side, and then we'll just drop down when we need to fill it in. So I think that's one more block, and then boop, 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 and then we have to fill in this side. Hopefully we'll have enough Oak, I think we will, because we have 15 to start with. Yes, we had perfectly enough. Well, not perfectly, but we had enough, which is all that really matters. So this is actually looking pretty decent, I would say. Let's look at it from a distance. Um, I think what I want to do is add some leaves to the mixture. Let's add some, maybe, some leaves up here. Yeah, I think that would look a little, makes it look a little better. I think I kind of made these a little tall. They kind of feel like the border up there is a little small. So maybe if we did like another strip of leaves or something. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then we could add some small details like adding fences um, along here. Maybe, would, that look, would that look weird? Oops. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. I don't know about it, though. I think just, like, two fences. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think what we should do is maybe, uh, let's break this and put them along this bottom thing here because they don't connect to the leaves, which kind of gives it a cool effect. Actually, I really like that. Yeah, I think that looks cool. Yeah, that looks cool, definitely. So then what we can do is put some... I don't actually have torches on me, but I'll put some torches on these woods so we don't have too many mobs spawning. But let's uh, decorate the insides now. So let's give them some grass, some beautiful, nice little bits of grass everywhere. You know, gotta make it pretty. Just so they can really roam around, I guess. And then we'll... Actually, I know what we can do with these last two pieces of carpet. We'll put them in between the gates. So if you're, like, in one pen, you don't have to get out and then get in the other one. Perfect! <laughs> okay, so let's put some grass in this one, too. So they both feel like they get some grass. Not too much. And then let's add some flowers. So they really feel like they're in a lovely place. That, f that should look good. And... You know, we'll make it fair for both of them. I'm gonna get rid of this flower here keep it for myself. <laughs> so we'll put two of these daisies in there. Some daisies in here would look nice. I'm really, really going a little bit overboard, but that's okay. And some roses. Some poppies, actually. Whatever. I liked it when they were called roses. We'll put some two of those. And there we go. Oh, they're so cute and full of flowers. I love it. I love it. 
So let's go ahead and put, uh, let's go grab and start attracting them in. So I brought some seeds and some wheat so we can start breeding a little bit and we can also just attract them in here. So be free little animals. Yeah, you see this is kind of interesting because I'm gonna get all you sh uh, sheep first. Let's get, yeah, chickens first, chickens first. Okay, sheep first, mm -hmm. chicken. Chicken. Cheap first? <laughs> they don't want to come. No. Uh, guys. Ah. I have. This is kind of awkward. Uh, okay. Now you're leaving. Um, do you guys want wheat? Okay, you guys want wheat. That's good. So we'll uh take them into the furthest pen so it's easier the second time through. Hopefully, though, the chickens don't run away, though. <laughs> I do have some eggs, so maybe we can make a baby chicken. <laughs> so let's go get you guys in here. So this is going to be your pen. Hope you like it. Come on in. Yeah, that's okay. Have some wheat. I'll give it to you, too, even though you're not going to make any babies for me. But uh, uh, you almost ran away, you little speedy one. No, no, no. All right, let's go get the chickens, then. Let's have some bread real quick. <laughs> Red. Let's go get the little chickens. Chickens. Chicken babies. Chicken babies. So you guys are going to come with me to the first pen. This is going to be your new home. I hope you like it in here. Uh, it's really nice. I'll feed you as soon as I can. And there we go. Don't run out. Don't run out. Don't run out. Eh. Eh. Ha. Ha. So now we have four little chickens and four little sheep. And we have a light blue one now. Adorable. So now I think what we're going to do is put some signs up here. So we have six signs, but we'll put two on here. So this is our sheep pen. Put in all caps for emphasis. And this is our chicken pen for emphasis. There we go. And we'll just call this Livestock Farms. So creative. Beautiful. Oh, I actually really like how this turned out. Maybe we should get rid of this dirt. <laughs> uh, and let's, um, why don't we add some more little fences? Because we have extra fences. So why don't we do like something fancy or something? So let's do like a pillar like that? No. Let's just do like simple things like that. That should look cool ish. Ish. Just a little ish. But it will look cool enough. Eh. Let's climb over here. And do the same thing on the other sides. Details. 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 Beautiful. I actually finished this a lot faster than I thought I would, but I think it looks pretty good. I really like it. I like how it turned out. So I just want to actually show you something real quick because we have extra time. Let's go open the doors here and I want to show you what I've been working on outside of episode. So I said I was going to work on the stairs a little bit and all this other stuff. I actually did the stairs out of episode, but I filled all this in and filled it all in. So now we have walls and then I finish this room and we got to, I finished this wall and I got some of this cool magma block stuff. Magma rock, whatever it is. But it's cool. And I did a little big adventure. And I'll show you how much nether stuff that we have now. So, uh, nether stuff. So we have magma block. Yeah, they work all that. And then we have a lot of glowstone. A, a lot of glowstone. <laughs> I really like my glowstone. And it was actually really close to the surface where we spawned. And also, in the bathroom, I changed it to a little dark gray glass. So it's like a little more tinted. I, uh, one of my commenters said it down below to do it to black. And I just wanted to do it to gray because fancy. <laughs> and then uh, I did the toilet and I changed a little bit of this. I'm eventually going to fix all of this, but I don't want to waste all my quartz right now. <laughs> and it's actually bedtime, so let's actually head to sleep. And yeah, good night. Spelled it wrong. Good night. Good night fancy. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye. 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 B